Hi friends! I hope everyone's doing super dandy today because for today's video, we are not at home. I'm on a little vacay. And I have, you know, a little bit of time to kill and I'm here with my friends and they love thrifting and obviously you guys know I love thrifting. So today, maybe tomorrow, we're gonna be doing a ton of thrifting. So I thought it'd be fun just to take you guys along with me and my friends and we're just gonna see what we can find. I don't really know what I wanna thrift. Obviously I wanna get a quilt to make a jacket possibly, but Again, I don't know if that's really possible because who really donates a quilt? It takes a long time to make. So I don't know if anybody's gonna donate one, but you know, I can dream. That's like my number one goal today. But other than that, no goals. No thrift bucket list. Just a quilt. And I'm trying not to buy green. And I'm trying to get some cute outfits. Okay, I got a few goals. Let's head into the first thrift store here. It is a women's shelter thrift store. It's supposed to be good. Haven't been here before. So, let's go. So this store, 50% off pink tags. That's exciting. Okay, so apparently this section right here, this whole section here, $1. Yeah, $1. That's not so but so. Ooh, I like this North Face jacket. What the heck? Let's see what size it is. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I found one skirt that I thought is really cute. It's this Levi's one, it's actually mine's my size. Only $8. So, I found two things here. I found this North Face jacket, which I'm pretty stoked about. And then I also found this two-piece, which I never find two pieces. I feel like they're the hardest thing to thrift. I think it's gonna fit, but I'm also like, am I gonna wear it? I don't know. But also like, am I ever gonna find anything like this again? Probably not. It was in the vintage section. I can even wear this sweater. This whole outfit. And then here's the North Face jacket. It fits perfect. And it's $18. It's for store number two. I feel like my voice cracked right there. Oh, Calvin Klein. Oh, Lululemon. Ooh. Oh, someone cut the sleeves off. I guess it used to be a long sleeve and then someone was like, no, I, I want a short sleeve. Ooh, this one looks fancy. Oh. Look at this sweater. This one's kind of cool. Is this a skort? Oh, shut the front door. This is a skort. This is a skort. It's $3.99. Will it fit though? Cause I'm kind of obsessed with the skort right here. We'll just like hook you on here. There we go. They have Aritzia here. They have like this Babaton skirt. These vintage pants are kind of tempting. They're like these wide leg white pants. $10 vintage. But are they see-through and would they fit? Do I want white flared plant, plant pants? Sorry, I can't speak today. <laughs> Pretty cool hack, right? I know. I'm a genius. Okay, I finally found a quilt, but I don't know. This one might be a little too girly for me. It looks like you no know, little girl's blanket, but I want to look at it. Can we see this as a jacket? I don't know. Does it look good? Look good? <laughs> see, I like this part here, these colors, but then I don't know about this bright pink, right? Is that? Yeah, I feel like maybe that's what's throwing it off. The bright pink? I don't know. There's enough here that you might be able to cut not the pink. True. I don't know. It's like tempting, this one. It could always be a, like a try, like a good draft. It could be a draft, <laughs> but I'm also kind of sad. It's 10 bucks. A steal. It is a steal. I don't know. Let me let me think about this. <laughs> this quilt, it has Christmas in it. I don't know how I feel about that. But it's so cute. <laughs> it's like, you know. It's very, um. It's close. Mm -hmm. It's close, but you know. Not really loving the Santas on there. Mixed with the leprechaun. Yeah, we, you know, <laughs> we got all the holidays going on. Um. Oh 
friends, 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 friends. I got a quilt. I got a quilt. It's gonna be my practice quilt. I decided this is gonna be my practice quilt. We're gonna make a quilt jacket with her. And if she turns out good, we'll, we'll make another one. I don't know. But we're at least making one with her. Test her out. We're still looking for more quilts because I wanna find the, you know, the perfect quilt still. So we're just gonna take a quick break from the thrifting because today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a meal delivery service where they give you pre-portioned, fresh ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. HelloFresh offers so many different recipes from family friendly to calorie smart, pescatarian, and veggie options every single week. They also offer a wide variety of quick and easy recipes, including 20 minute meals, easy cleanup, and low prep options. All their ingredients are prep portions. That means there's less prep for you and less food waste. Personally, I, I don't like planning food. I don't like trying to portion things out. So that is my favorite thing is having a recipe card show up with the ingredients. And then I don't have to think about what I want to eat that night because it's already planned. I also love that HelloFresh has a wide variety of recipes so I can change up my cooking every single week and try new things and just be adventurous. If you guys want to try out HelloFresh, go to HelloFresh.com and use the code Jenna14 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Go to HelloFresh.com, use code Jenna14 for up to 14 meals and three free gifts. Okay, let's get back to the thrifting. So this next thrift store, this is where I found my poop lamp in my bedroom. You guys remember that? So I'm still on the hunt for the perfect quilt. Not much here, but there is lots of, you know, crochet blankets here. I've actually seen a decent amount already. <gasps> oh, these are pillowcases. Oh my goodness. I wish this was a full-size blanket. I want one of these like tri, no, star ones, star. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. I have to show you guys. See, this is my dream style of quilt. Obviously in like a big one, but I love these that people do like the star. Like, look at this. It's it's so beautiful. I want this in a big, huge quilt. Like, this is what I want to be wrapped up in. That's my dream right now. Do I like you or do I not like you? So I just found this beautiful, I don't, what is this? This goes into the ground? Star. I think it's it a goes star. in the tree. Oh, it goes, oh, maybe it's the tree. But yeah. I found this and Megan, she goes ham when she decorates for Christmas. <laughs> so she's been thrifting a ton of Christmas stuff and it's $4 and we're just gonna see if it works. Yeah, let's plug it in. Okay. What if it doesn't? That'd be disappointing. Oh. Just finished in that thrift store and no luck. Nothing. Didn't find anything. I didn't find anything. Okay. Next one. Okay, I'm checking out the linens first just to see if you know we get lucky and find another quilt here today. <gasps> No, 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 no. Oh, it's a baby one. This got me so excited because it's a star. <gasps> it's my star I want and it's beautiful. This is not enough for a jacket though. This is not enough. Oh my goodness. My heart stopped. My heart just stopped. I've legit found the gold mine for quilts up here. First, look at this one. We found this quilt here. It's $12.99. Pretty good steal for a quilt if you really think about it. Looks pretty big, so this could be like a good contender for a jacket. Okay. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Next one is this one. It's not much on here, it's mainly just blue, but they do have these pretty birds on here. Like, that's cool. And also just like the ends here. This one, which I'm like so tempted to buy this one just because. Where am I quote? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's right here. Okay, I thought I lost it. I'm just so tempted to buy this one just because this is so similar to the thousand dollar jacket I found on C. Yeah, it was about a thousand and it was like this exact pattern. So I think I'm gonna pick up this quilt too. So now I have two quilts and this small one. So maybe I could put these together. I feel like those would match. So maybe I get these two, but there's also more. So let me, let me continue on with the tour. We have this one, not my cup of tea. We have this one right here. Again, not my my cup of tea. It's also a little baby one. We have two right here. This one, which has like flowers and stuff on it. And this one, which is also so cool. 
Oh my goodness, this is also a really cool contender. Like, look at that. <gasps> it's so pretty. Okay, I feel like there's more. Okay, sorry. Okay, that's it for my, why do I keep doing that? Okay, that's it for my quilt tour. I feel like I wanna get this one. I don't know how much it is though. JK, I found one more quilt. It's a cat quilt. Look at this, and it's like a legit cat quilt. You can see like these pieces are actually like sewn together, like someone sewed a cat. Multiple cats, a lot of cats, a ton of cats. I don't know how I feel about it. So now that I'm done in the quilt section, I'm like quickly going through the clothes here and see if there's anything that really pops out to me. And of course, the first thing that pops out to me, a green sweater. I'm really digging this jacket. I don't know why. Hi friends, <clears throat> oh sorry, did you hear that? You probably heard that. I'm at a thrift store. We're in Vernon. You don't probably don't know where that is, but I'm thrifting again today. It's day two now. Ooh, look at this. I always love when there's like boutique sections. So here's, here's our boutique section. They got some nice wool jackets here. A vest. $50 for the vest. 70 for a long sleeve one. So before I came in here on the ride over, I like gave myself like a mental pep talk where I was like, Jenna, you're not getting any more quilts because you bought three yesterday and you need to make something with those before you, you get more. But I just had to check out the quilt section just because there's so many quilts here in like the Kelowna Vernon area. And um, I did go and look unfortunately and uh, I found a really, really cute one that I just have to get. It's only $7. And I feel like I want to put it with that little one, you know, like the star one I got yesterday, and make a jacket that way. Like, put these two quilts together. Like, I feel like that's a good idea. And then I also found two other things. I found this little corset. It's got little dangly sparklies on it. And I found these pants. They're fun. Sorry, the lighting's really, really bad in this corner that I chose. Is just sorry. I should definitely get this for Billy, my nephew, my dog nephew, because it says Billy on it. Big mouth Billy Bass. And it's a Christmas fish. I feel like this would be the perfect addition to my sister's home. Whoa, there's so many film cameras here, or just cameras in general. There are so many, holy moly. Is that like a video camera right there? So here's the corset. This is the course that I found. It honestly fits perfect because I have like this huge chunky vest underneath and I'm still able to get it on, no problem. So, you know, it fits great. I just have to decide if I want it. Like, I think it'd be really cute if I could layer it. Look at that. Okay, so now I'm officially done with quilts. I'm still gonna go look at the quilts at the Value Village over here, but I... Uh, I can't, I can't get any more quilts. I actually, I just can't. I can't bring like five quilts home because I know I'm not gonna make five quilt jackets. No more quilts, Jetta, no more. They have one pair of cowboy boots here, which they're actually kind of cute. I like this colored embroidery, like this purple. This is a really pretty white blazer. It's a leather one. It's actually quite nice long too. This color is just forever going to tempt me. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm just gonna automatically like it just because it's my favorite color. Well, unfortunately, that is it for today's thrift trip. The last value village I just went into, I found two tops, but I wasn't like 
eh. They were like okay, so I left them behind and ended up not getting anything, which is okay because I already crushed it with my quilts. Like I'm already just like super excited about these thrift trips the last two days just because I got quilts. And I'm so excited to make a quilt jacket. Where is my car? I don't have a phone either. Friends, <sighs> I have a little story for you guys because uh, my trip home from Kelowna, which is about a four or five hour drive away from where I live, um, was a lot more eventful than I was planning it to be because like I said, it's supposed to take four hours, but it ended up taking four days. It took four days to get home because you know, a lot of things have been happening here in British Columbia, especially that day we tried to go home. Um, a lot of landslides happened and a lot of flooding. So we got stuck in Hope, BC with 1,200 other people and um, we were stuck there for four days because all of the highways surrounding us to get out were, were not okay. A lot of them were like completely destroyed from the landslides and others just had um, like trees and dirt and rocks all over them. So it took them a while to clear them. So we had a great four days in Hope. Hope is a very, very tiny town. So it was not equipped for 1200 stranded people. So a lot of people slept in their cars. I was lucky. I only had to sleep in my car for one night and spend 36 hours straight in there because again it was like a storm so you couldn't go outside you just had to stay warm in your car and then the rest of the time i was lucky that i got to stay in a trailer that my friends dad cousin second cousin owns on their property there so we were fortunate that we were able to get you know accommodation because some people weren't fortunate some people were fortunate they got she got a hotel room but yeah it was just very eventful very, very eventful and just very happy that we're all safe. There was four of us traveling and Benson, and I gotta say Benson just, he loved it. He thought it was the best vacation ever. Like he loves car rides and to sleep in the car and just stay in the car all day, he loved it. He, he, he was thriving. I could go on for five years about my experience and just everything that happened, but we gotta get into the thrift haul because I wanna show you guys my quilts. It's very exciting. So, we're gonna start off with my quilts because I know this is what you guys are really wanting to see. So, first quilt we have, which is not like a super, super traditional quilt. I think it's just more like, is it? I can't tell, but it's a quilt. This is the quilt right here, and I'm gonna be making a jacket with it. There's, a, It's a big quilt. I wanna say it's like a queen or a king size one, so I can make a really big jacket with this one. And then I also found some little quilts that I might piece together to make another jacket maybe. Not really sure. I found this one, which is just, oh, this one's incredible. This one's my favorite one I found. It's, it's so amazing, I wish. It was bigger because then I can make a really nice jacket from it, but it's not, it's not. But I also found this one, which I'm thinking about pairing this one and this one together maybe, not sure, I don't know, but this is the other one. And this one's also not a huge one, so I don't think I have enough for a jacket, maybe, not really sure, but those are the quilts I found. I actually found one more, but it's in the car. I practiced one. And then for clothes, I ended up finding a few things here and a jacket, I'll go get. I found this North Face jacket. We'll start with this one first. Here it is. It's like this North Face puffer or like mini puffer. I think it was like $18 for it, which I feel like is a great deal because it's like nice. Okay, next one. Next thing I found was a vintage two piece and I never find vintage, am I under the light? I never find two pieces ever. Like I find them but they never fit me. So I am like so excited for this one. It was only $10, steal the deal, I'll try it on for you guys. Isn't this just incredible? Look at this, I can't believe I found this at the thrift store for 10 dollars and it fits like perfect like the skirt absolutely perfect fitting like could not fit any better 
This, it's like, you know, a nice oversized blazer, just worth every single penny. It's incredible, it's, oh gosh, I love it. And then the last two pieces here, I'll try on together because I got this corduroy pair of pants and then this, which my husband told me it looks kind of like a pajama robe, but I, I don't know, maybe it is, I'm not really sure, but. I got these two from like this little tiny vintage store at the very end of the last store I went to. Did I film? I don't know if I did, but I took pictures. I took some pictures while I was in there because they were really pretty changing rooms. So next two items, or last, technically last two items. Here it is. Here's the last two pieces. And you can see it kind of gives like a little bit of a vibe of like a pajama robe, I think. Like, yeah, it could be like your dad's robe, pajama robe, but I think it looks great on me. I love it, especially with these brown corduroy pants. Like, I just, I just love this look. I, I just love it. This is what I'm gonna wear. This is so comfy, it's so cozy. The pants fit perfect. Like, everything about this look, I, I want in my life. It's everything. All I'm missing is just one of those quilts made into a jacket. That's all we're really missing here, and I feel like then my life is complete. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little thrift with me today in Kelowna, and my thrift haul, and my quilts, because you gotta admit, those are some good quilts I found. So I'm excited to make a jacket with them, so if you guys wanna see a video of me making a quilt jacket, finally, comment down below in the comments. But that's it. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.